This is the Gold Corridor. It links each of the four reactors at the vast Chernobyl nuclear plant. It's a mile long and takes you 30 years back in time. The world's worst nuclear accident played itself out on the dials and warning lights of a control room identical to this one, just a few more yards down the corridor. Chernobyl in the Soviet Ukraine has become a byword for nuclear disaster. The explosion and fire released 400 times more radioactivity than the Hiroshima bomb. Only heroism and nearly a million tonnes of concrete finally contained the disaster. A corridor above the control room is as close as you can get to what remains of the core. Behind this wall is the melted down, destroyed reactor number four here at Chernobyl. It was encased in six or seven metres of concrete. And despite all that, we're getting, perhaps not surprisingly, some of the highest readings of radioactivity we've got since we've been here. Chernobyl's highly toxic legacy is contained by a hurriedly built shelter over the building. Only it's now rapidly falling apart and rainwater is seeping in. Yet it's far too radioactive above to build a new roof over it. So they're working next to it. The only reason I can safely stand here and talk to you is I'm being shielded from radiation from the melted down reactor by this enormous concrete wall. Now, immediately after the disaster, the reactor was sealed in a concrete sarcophagus designed to last 30 years. That's now just months away, and the building is in imminent danger of collapse. So the race is on to complete this, the largest moving building in the world, a dome that's going to be slid over the top of the entire reactor complex, hopefully keeping it safe for another century. It's hard enough trying to grasp the size of this building. Imagine the challenge of constructing it. It's a double-skinned, corrosion-proof cocoon held together by 650,000 bolts made specially in Wrexham. Inside, it's equipped with robotic cranes to allow gradual demolition in decades to come. It was difficult to realise the, the size when yeah, it is on paper yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the weight. I mean, the tilting panel, we are talking about uh, four, 400 tonnes. So you Those need, are 400 uh, tonnes? Four, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, it's, uh, everything is massive here. The arch is tall enough to enclose the Statue of Liberty, but it's precision engineered. The irregular outline is like a Chernobyl cookie cutter, exactly matching the contours of the crumbling building it will enclose. It has to. It's becoming weak, so it's time to put an arch over the, the shelter the, um, constructed by the Russian. Mm -hmm. So in case of collapse, uh, the contamination will not be sprayed as it was in uh, 86 and uh, you know the Chernobyl uh, cloud uh, who went to, uh, to Europe. So it will not be possible because everything will be confined. It's a shining new building to shield us from a repeat of the past. The site is still surrounded by a 1,000 square mile exclusion zone, still contaminated with radioactive fallout three decades on. Here, the former human world is gradually being reclaimed by nature. But with that comes a new danger. Forest fires. And in this contaminated landscape, they are a particular risk, especially if, like this one, they're close to the plant among the highest levels of fallout. So while we were over filming the reactor complex, uh, just a couple of kilometers that way, this forest fire appears to have broken out behind us. That's a real danger because that can actually lift uh, radioactive isotopes that are in the trees and in the soil up into the atmosphere. So we have to leave the zone now. It adds a sense of urgency to the task of completing the new safe confinement. The project is now nearing completion, but it's been dogged by delays and financial shortfalls. The European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, which is now running the show, is having to lean on donor countries to honour their financial commitments. As things currently stand, the funding is secure, provided that all the promises that were made are, are kept and provided that there's no further cost increases. A more immediate concern is hostilities between Russia and Ukraine. An American contractor bailed on the project when the conflict first flared. 
for a very brief period of time um, a few people were removed. Um, this has not happened, so we have uh, so far no impact um, of the current situation on this project. But it, it must be a concern, that continuing tension must be a concern here. This is a concern outside our control. Assuming there are no further hiccups, the arch will slide over the reactor building next year. Not just a mausoleum for an industrial disaster, but the first major step towards cleaning it up.